From Protestant historicism to Jesuit dispensationalism, Christianity hijacked. Quote, historicism, as defined by Wikipedia, is a method of interpretation in Christian eschatology which associates biblical prophecies with actual historical events. This broad form of historicism held sway in Christianity from the 4th century, until, and throughout, the Reformation. The Protestant Reformation was born in reaction to the Catholic doctrines of works-only salvation and identifying the papacy as the Antichrist. Protestant historicists saw prophecy fulfilled down through the centuries and into the modern era, rather than expecting a single Antichrist to rule the earth during a future tribulation period. Martin Luther, John Calvin and other Protestant reformers saw the Antichrist as a present feature in the world of their time, fulfilled in the papacy. They were unanimous in this interpretation lending emphasis to the Reformation. It led them to protest against Rome and it became their rally and battle cry. Isaac Newton was a strong proponent of the historicist approach especially in the work published in 1733 after his death, Observations upon the Prophecies of the Book of Daniel and the Apocalypse of John which has a similar stance toward the papacy of the Reformers. Controversial features of the Reformationist historicist interpretations is the identification of the Antichrist, 1st and 2nd John, the Beasts of Revelation 13, the Man of Sin, or Man of Lawlessness of 2 Thessalonians 2, the little horn of Daniel 7 and 8, and the horror of Babylon. Revelation 17 With the Roman Catholic Church, the papacy, the papal states, and each successive pope himself. Out of the Reformation came the Counter-Reformation. As such, the pro-Catholic positions took root when the Jesuit doctor of theology, Francisco Ribera proposed Futurism in 1590, as well as the Spanish Jesuit, Luis de Alcazar who proposed Preterism, see Wikipedia under the word Historicism. Quote first, note the fact that Rome's reply to the Reformation in the 16th century included an answer to the prophetic teachings of the Reformers. Through the Jesuits Ribera and Bellarmine, Rome put forth her futurist interpretation of prophecy. Ribera was a Jesuit priest of Salamanca. In 1585 he published a commentary on the Apocalypse denying the application of the prophecies concerning Antichrist to the existing Church of Rome. He was followed by Cardinal Bellarmine, a nephew of Pope Marcellus II. Bellarmine, like Ribera, advocated the futurist interpretation of prophecy. He taught that Antichrist would be one particular man, that he would be a Jew, that he would be preceded by the reappearance of the literal Enoch and Elias, that he would rebuild the Jewish temple at Jerusalem, compel circumcision, abolish the Christian sacraments, abolish every other form of religion, would manifestly and avowedly deny Christ, would assume to be Christ, and would be received by the Jews as their Messiah, would pretend to be God, would make a little image speak, would feign himself dead and rise again, and would conquer the whole world, Christian, Mohammedan and heathen. And all this in the space of three and a half years, he insisted that the prophecies of Daniel, Paul and John, with reference to the Antichrist, had an awe application whatever to the papal power, Henry Grattan Guinness, Romanism and the Reformation. In 1946 Leroy Froome wrote, quote a new and alien note is soon to be projected into the field of prophetic interpretation. The futurist view of the prophecies concerning Antichrist prior to 1826 this Roman Catholic view, first set forth by Francisco Ribera to counter the Reformation exposition had found no acceptance among Protestants. The Prophetic Faith of Our Fathers, Volume 3, page 533. George Ildon Ladd wrote, quote It would probably come as a shock to many modern futurists to be told that the first scholar in relatively modern times who returned to the patristic futuristic interpretation was a Spanish Jesuit named Ribera. In 1590 Ribera published a commentary on the Revelation as a counter-interpretation to the prevailing view among Protestants which identified the papacy with the Antichrist. Ribera applied all of Revelation but the earliest chapters to the end time rather than to the history of the Church. Antichrist would be a single evil person who would be received by the Jews and would rebuild Jerusalem, abolish Christianity, deny Christ, persecute the church and rule the world for three and a half years. George Ildon Ladd, The Blessed Hope page 37. Joseph Tanner feels the same way, 
quote so great a hold did the conviction that the papacy was the antichrist gain upon the minds of men, that Rome at last saw she must bestir herself, and try, by putting forth other systems of interpretation, to counteract the identification of the papacy with the antichrist, accordingly, Towards the close of the century of the Reformation two of her most learned doctors set themselves to the task, each endeavoring by different means to accomplish the same end, namely, that of diverting men's minds from perceiving the fulfillment of the prophecies of the Antichrist in the papal system. The Jesuit Alcazar devoted himself to bring into prominence the preterist method of interpretation, and thus endeavored to show that the prophecies of Antichrist were fulfilled before the Pope ever ruled at Rome and therefore could not apply to the papacy. On the other hand the Jesuit Ribéret tried to set aside the application of these prophecies to the papal power by bringing out the futurist system, which asserts that these prophecies refer properly not to the career of the papacy, but to that of some future supernatural individual, who is yet to appear, and to continue in power for three and a half years. Joseph Tanner, Daniel in the Revelation, London, Hodder and Stoughton, 1898, pages 16 and 17. Dean Henry Alford, in the Prolgomena of his Greek Testament says the following about the origins of futurism, quote the founder of this system in modern times appears to have been the Jesuit Ribera. About AD 1580, Henry Alford, The New Testament for English Readers, Volume 2, Part 2, page 351. Regarding the origins of preterism Alfred says, quote the preterist view found no favor, and was hardly so much as thought of, in the times of primitive Christianity. The view is said to have been first promulgated in anything like completeness by the Jesuit Alcazar in 1614. Henry Alfred, The New Testament for English Readers, Volume 2, pages 348 and 349. Even the Roman Catholic, G. S. Hitchcock states, Quote the Futuristic School, founded by the Jesuit Ribera in 1591, looks for Antichrist, Babylon and a rebuilt temple in Jerusalem. At the end of the Christian dispensation the Praterist School, founded by the Jesuit Alcazar in 1614, explains the revelation by the fall of Jerusalem, or by the fall of pagan Rome in 410 AD. G. S. Hitchcock, The Beasts and the Little Horn, page 7. Richard Kyle concurs, quote among the Jesuits who insisted that the Antichrist was still to come, the approach of the Spaniard Franciscus Ribera had significant implications for future millennial thought. Both Catholics and Protestants who identified the Antichrist as a contemporary pope or leader generally took a historicist interpretation of John's revelation. Ribera reintroduced a somewhat literal futuristic approach to the Apocalypse of John. In doing so he concluded that the Antichrist was a future renegade Jew. Richard Kyle, The Last Days Are Here Again, page 62. Well has Sanner remarked, quote it is a matter for deep regret that those who hold and advocate the futurist system at the present day, Protestants as they are for the most part, are thus really playing into the hands of Rome, and helping to screen the papacy from detection as the Antichrist. It has been well said that futurism tends to obliterate the brand put by the Holy Spirit upon popery. More especially is this to be deplored at a time when the papal Antichrist seems to be making an expiring effort to regain his former hold on men's minds. Joseph Tanner, Daniel in the Revelation, London, Hodder and Stoughton, 1898, page 17. Quote, what about conservative Protestantism today? The fact is that they have not only swallowed these futuristic views hook, line and sinker, but they have swallowed the fishing pole and fishermen as well. In fact, they have taken the literalistic hermeneutic of futurism so far that it borders on the ridiculous. Evangelicals, Baptists, Pentecostals and other born-again Christians have proliferated futurism around the globe. Protestantism has not only imbibed the wrong day of worship from the papacy but it has also bored the wrong way of interpreting prophecy. She is an image of the beast and the spokesperson for her mother from whom she received the change in the times and the law. The change in the times and the change in the law are intimately related. When the papacy succeeded in getting Protestants to abandon historicism as a method, it also succeeded in hiding the Roman Catholic system as the Antichrist, and because Protestants no longer saw the papacy as the predicted Antichrist, 
they could not discern the role of the papacy in the change of the Sabbath, Stephen P. Bohr, Futurism's Incredible Journey.